Welcome to a code report solution video. In this video, we're going to be covering the solution to problem one from the hacker rank our rank 31 contest entitled hanging posters. The problem states Arthur needs to hang n posters on his wall. Standing on the ground, he can reach up to a height of h. Each poster is to be bolted at a certain height above the ground level, described by the array wall points. Each poster also has some length defined by the array lengths. To hang a poster properly, Arthur needs to hold at least 50% of the length of the poster, and the poster is to be bolted at a point which is 25% from its top. Arthur wants to know what is the minimum height of the ladder he should buy in order to hang all the wall posters. And it also notes that the ladder is only available in integral heights, meaning integers. And the constraints for this problem are going to be h, which is the height that Arthur can reach is between 1 and 10 to the 9, and the number of wall posters is going to be between 1 and 10 to the 5, and the wall points and the lengths, uh, their values are going to be between 1 and 10 to the 9 and 1 and 10 to the 5th, respectively. So let's take a look at one of the examples examples that HackerRank provided us with. So this is the example. Uh, the first number is n3, the number of posters we have for this problem. And then the next number is h, the height that uh, Arthur can reach. And then the next two lines describe uh, the heights, the top heights of where the posters are going to be hung, and then the lengths of these posters. So we can visualize this as follows. This is roughly what it'll look like. We have three posters. Um, one of them starts at the, the top of the poster starts at height 15, and then it has a length 5. The next one starts at height 11 and has length 1. And the final one has a height 17 and then length 2. And it also states in the problem that uh, Arthur can reach up to a height of 5. So here I've, I guess, visualized that just Arthur's height is 5, but technically it's the height that he can reach to. And then uh, the next thing we sort of need to figure out is um, what is the uh, size of the ladder that Arthur needs to purchase or have in order to hang all of these wall posters. And they sort of state two things about the posters, that you need to be able to hold 50% of it, but that's sort of an irrelevant fact. We can just ignore that. The only point that is important is that we're hanging the poster at the 25% mark from the top, or the 75% mark from the bottom, which looks like as follows. So here is basically the point that each of these posters is going to get hung at. And basically all we need to do is calculate all of these points and then figure out what is the maximum point of all of these. And then once we have that point, we just subtract Arthur's height from it. And uh, at that point, we will have the uh, height of the ladder that we need. And so the formula, so, so we're going to end up with uh, this, the third poster, driving our uh, ladder height. And the formula that we're going to use to calculate that is the following. So we're going to plug in the top of the poster, and then we're going to subtract 25% uh, or 1 over 4 uh, of the length of that poster. And we need to make sure that we um, take the ceiling of this value because we need to round up due to the fact that uh, we only have ladders with integral heights as the problem stated. Um, and we can't round down because if we round down, then our ladder won't be tall enough. And then at the end, we just subtract uh, the height of Arthur or the height that Arthur can reach without a ladder. And uh, that gives us 12. And then note that technically if the poster is down here, um, we don't want a negative ladder height, obviously. So we need to floor this at zero. Um, that's It's pretty straightforward. You just need a single for loop um, to go through these, calculate this, and store the maximum, and then subtract 5. So let's take a look at our code. So first here is our C++ solution. We have our function solve and three parameters that are passed to it, an integer h, which is the height of Arthur, and then two vectors of integers, w and l. Uh, w is the wall height uh, at the top of the poster, and then l is the length of our posters. So we start by initializing uh, integer p, which is just going to be the point that we need to hang our poster at, and then we loop through uh, for each of the elements in W and L, and we calculate P to be the maximum of the, of the current value of P and uh, the top of the poster, which is WI minus uh, LI divided by 4. Um, and so note that there's no ceiling here, and that's because originally when I coded this problem, uh, I coded it as the following, so making use of the ceiling function, and then we're casting uh, what would be a double into an int so that the max function will work. But what you'll notice is that if you just use integer division due to the fact that um, the, the decimal number that we're multiplying by is less than 50%, uh, 
the integer division will actually take care of the ceiling due to the fact that we are subtracting this number. Um, so the subtraction plus the integer division with a uh, fraction that's less than 50% uh, cancels out this ceiling here. So you should code this because it looks a lot nicer. And then so once we have this maximum point, uh, we just return the maximum of 0 and p minus h. Taking a look at our Java solution, it's almost identical other than a few different uh, syntactical methods. So instead of uh, just a max, we have to call math.max. And instead of uh, the bracket operators for accessing elements, we need to use the dot get method, which is not that great because it doesn't look as nice. But what can you do? That's Java for you. Java for you. And uh, last but not least is our Python solution, which is the most beautiful of all of them. Uh, this is a great function to know of zip it basically enables you to take two different lists and zip them together and then you can use destructuring uh, to get uh, two elements from each one of the lists at a time so you can uh, write this a lot more concisely than you can in c plus plus or java uh, so basically you're setting p in one line by taking the max of uh, each pair of numbers and W and L, A and B, and then just using A minus B uh, with integer, integer division uh, by 4. So A minus B divided by 4, and then we just return the maximum of 0 and P minus H. So the last thing to talk about is the time complexity for this problem, which is going to be linear in the length of our two arrays, uh, W and L. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contests start, and you can find all of the code shown in my videos on my GitHub page. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.